I'm not sure how well this will show up. This is not going to be necessarily a gaming vid as much as it's going to be a Star Wars collectible vid. Um, uh, one of the guys that I subscribe to on the channel, uh, Gun Barrel, did a real nice vid showing some of his 1995 uh, action figures for Star Wars and thought that I might go ahead and do something similar. Uh, I enjoyed his. So here are some of the Star Wars stuff. We've got all different kinds of R2-D2s. As you can see, the top portion of my game room is almost all about displaying Star Wars. Uh, also, like pocket knives, as you can see. Don't know if you can get much of the detail on these. R2-D2 and C-3PO clock. Got a nice pirate buoy there. That's a Ad at Walker. I don't think that's a vintage one. I think that might have been one of the more re-releases. Uh, continuing over, more Star Wars stuff behind that. D&D &D modules from the 70s. Uh, as you can see, another theme for my game room is dragons, wizards, fantasy. Uh, uh, sorry for this lighting. Hopefully you won't need Dramamine by the end of this. These are some of the uh, Yoda guys. Not getting that close to them for you. but Also, loose vintage figures. Collectible plates. The extremely large uh, Han Solo and Luke Skywalker on Tauntaun. Uh, on over there over the top of the door is the Luke Skywalker and the um, large beast that he takes the arm off at the beginning of um, Return, uh, excuse me, not Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, This is going to. Sorry here if I'm moving around uneasily. My knees are shot. But uh, these were some of the collectible glasses back in the day for Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. A set of four each. I think it might have been Burger King that put them out. Uh, got a Darth Vader. Telephone, key rings, that's probably the only signed piece that I have by uh, David Prowse, the guy that was inside the Darth Vader outfit. Uh, Darth Vader collectible uh, figures case, I think I got a lot of loose figures in there. Uh, some of the Happy Meal premiums and Glasses that the various restaurants came out with. Some of the newer stuff. And then over here would start uh, some of the carded figures that I have. Uh, Return of the Jedi being the last group. You can see some of the mugs. Those are all vintage from the 80s. That is a uh, collectible case uh, reissued probably in the late 80s, early 90s. You can see the carded figures continue. Everything in this portion of the room is Return of the Jedi. Uh, excuse me again. Probably getting some reflection of the lights. I tend to pick up the most gruesome toys I can find at uh, 
garage sales. That is a, a vintage CP3, C3PO figure case. And uh, coming on around the corner, you have Star Wars. The uh, really came out probably after Return of the Jedi. They were the sort of uh, collectible coin cards. Continuing over to one of my poorest lit portions of the room where you come into my man cave. These are the actual Star Wars cards that would have been issued back oh probably between 77 and 80. And then Empire Strikes Back. Continuing on around the corner. Empire Strikes Back. This is my YouTube Center. Or in the case of my wife, the Webkin Center. And as you can see, these are the things that interest me. Some loose Star Wars stuff. Dragons and Wizards. Lord of the Rings. More dragons. Shells of dragons. I call them a display case. I think in high-end uh, furniture stores they call them etagères, which is French for we charge you more. And before you say, oh, Jen, that's not too bad. I have about somewhere between 15 and 20 tubs of Star Wars stuff stored in another room that I really don't have room to display because I have to have room for all my games. How did this start? Eh, probably mid-late 1980s, some devious 11-year-old put 10 of his vintage Star Wars figures in a Tupperware bowl and put it out in the flea market for five bucks. Had all of their capes and original weapons and I bought them. And I've been mainlining Star Wars ever since. So once again I warn you don't be a collector. Alright you guys, have a great holiday season and I think my next vid will be going back to my blast of the past and I'll try and show you some old school minis.